What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to set any song or sound as your iPhone's ringtone or text tone all without the need of a computer. So back in 2019, I showed you how to set any song as a ringtone on your iPhone. And while that method does still work here in 2023, there are some new tricks that will make this process much quicker and much better than before. And for this tutorial, I will be using iOS 17 on an iPhone 14 Pro Max, but this will work on any iOS version along with any iPhone. All right, so first things first, the fundamentals of this tutorial are still going to be the same as that video back in 2019 we do still need to use GarageBand to create an iPhone ringtone I know there's not a better way but you do need to go into the App Store and download GarageBand so while you are downloading the GarageBand application it is 1.6 gigabytes so it could take quite a while to download depending on your internet speed but while that is downloading you want to go ahead and download the music or the sounds that you want to have set as your ringtone now you can do this through Safari so if you search for you know for instance NCS mp3 I can go right here and I can find some of my mp3s and I could just simply tap on download and then you'll have this little arrow in the address bar and if you tap on that and then go to downloads it will show you that file and then if you tap on the little magnifying glass it will take you to the files application and exactly where that file is located and that is kind of the outdated method of getting music or sounds on your iPhone. Now, my preferred method and the new method I'm gonna be showing you is to simply screen record what you want your ringtone to be and then convert that to audio. Now, it sounds difficult, but trust me, it is very simple because I made a shortcut for you to use. So we're gonna go into YouTube and I just searched for NCS music and I found a song here that I want to have set as my ringtone, maybe a certain part of that song I wanna have set as my ringtone. So we're just gonna go onto this and we're going to screen record. So we're gonna swipe down on the control center and we're gonna tap on the little record button right here. If you do not have the screen record button in your control center, just go into your settings and then go to control center and down here under more controls, you will see screen recording. Just hit the little green plus next to that and then you will see it appear in your control center. So now that I found a song or even a sound, like there's different sound effects that you can have as a ringtone or text tone as well. Once we found that, we're just gonna go ahead and screen record and then play the song and it's going to screen record with sound. And once you're done screen recording, we can go ahead and end that. And then you want to download a shortcut that I have linked down in the description below. So once you click on that link, it will take you to this page right here. Just simply tap on get shortcut and then it's going to automatically open up in the shortcuts application and then just press the blue add shortcut button. Now we're going to go into the photos application and find the screen recording that you just recorded for your ringtone. We're going to tap on the share button in the bottom left hand corner and then scroll down and you will see the new shortcut we just downloaded right here convert to audio. Press on that and the shortcut will begin working. And now it's gonna take you into your iCloud Drive. I created a folder for ringtones, but you don't have to do that. And then we're just gonna press on open and there we go, it's done. So now we have our audio file and this is going to make creating the ringtone very easy. And by now your GarageBand download should be complete. So now we're gonna go ahead and search for GarageBand and it is done. So here's what you will see when you open up GarageBand for the first time. We're just gonna tap on continue continue we're going to not allow notifications and now we're going to swipe over until we get to audio recorder once we get here just simply tap on voice so the first thing we're going to do is disable the metronome which is right next to the record button so we're going to tap on that until it shows up as white that is going to remove the clicking noise. And now we're gonna go over to the left-hand side and tap on this icon that just shows a bunch of lines, kind of like a brick wall. We're gonna tap on that and it will take us into our project. Once we have a fresh timeline, we're going to go up to the top right-hand corner and tap on the little plus icon. And this is going to open up the sections. So we have section A and it's set by default at eight bars. What we wanna do is either set this to 30 at manual or what I like to do now is just set it to be automatic. And basically all this is doing is setting the length for your sound or your song. So you can set this manually if you want to, but I think for most people, automatic just makes more sense. Now you need to tap on the Omega icon. It looks like a little loop right there next to settings up in the top right hand corner. Once you tap on that, you get some presets here. So you have a bunch of Apple loops that are presets built in. You also have music so you can import some of your music from your music library. Now this is not 
Apple Music files. These are gonna be files that you've actually downloaded and imported from your computer. So what we wanna do is go into files right here. And we're gonna to go to browse items from the files application. So you might see your ringtone on the recents section right here, but if you do not just go into the browse section and we're gonna go back all the way to open up the sidebar and then go to iCloud drive. And we're gonna find the ringtones folder that we created earlier. And then you will see the M4A file for that recording. So we're gonna simply tap on that and now you will see it show up right here and what we're going to do is simply take and drag this onto the timeline and now you will see the waveforms for that audio track and what we want to do now is edit this to our liking so most people are probably not going to want the very beginning of a song so what we're going to do is simply tap right here and we're going to drag to trim this a little bit so you do have to be a little bit precise with your finger here but we're going to take this to edit it maybe i want to get to the chorus and when you're editing this just make sure to move it back to the playhead so just manually move it back to the playhead and you could always play right here to preview the song or sound and by the way if you ever mess up you can just shake your device and then you can undo that cut selection like i just deleted mine on accident but you can go ahead and do that to undo if you ever mess up so i have the playhead right at the position i want the ringtone to start and now we're just going to simply pinch to zoom out and we're going to drag from over here all the way to that section that i just selected and it should kind of snap into place right there and now we're going to move all this up to the front and now let's move our playhead back to the beginning and now let's preview our little ringtone that sounds good enough for me and keep in mind you may not want like a full 30 seconds 30 seconds is the maximum for your ringtone you may not want that because you may just want the ringtone to loop over and over again instead of just being like a full song you know you can just have it loop over like your favorite part that's what i like doing so once we have that set here we're just going to go to the top left hand corner you will see a down facing arrow tap on that and then tap on my songs it's going to create this my song dot band file what you want to do here is simply tap and hold on that and then just go to share and now you will get the selection for how you want to format the song so we're going to format this as a ringtone so we're going to tap right in the middle as ringtone and now you can rename the ringtone to whatever you would like i'll just title this ncs since that's what it is we'll tap on done and then export ringtone export successful and now we're going to tap on ok and now we're done with GarageBand. if you go into the settings application and then to sounds and haptics and then to ringtone you will now see your brand new ringtone right here up top let's play it just to confirm very cool and now you can also set that as a text tone voicemail mail you can set that same ringtone you just set for anything so it's going to show up here as an alert tone for anything that you have set you're just going to have to go down past alert tones down to ringtones and you will see it right there so there you have it that is a new updated method for how to set any song or sound as a ringtone on your iphone here in 2023 and beyond ios 17 and beyond i'm sure this is going to be the best method of doing this for the foreseeable future i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for more iphone tips and tricks just like this one and if you're interested in this wallpaper i will leave it linked down in the description below but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon